The two Shenzhou crews have now officially united in space, starting the first ever crew rotation in China's space station. How would the six of them share that space and time? A landmark and heartfelt meeting as the two Shenzhou crews embraced one another Wednesday morning and in a roughly five-day rotation period. They will be close, but won't be getting in each other's way. China Space Station had anticipated the six-person get-together and, as always, plan out the occasion. And each of the six Taikonauts will have their own sleeping area. There are three sleeping booths in the Tianhe Guo module and three others in Wentian Space Lab module. But the two crews will be able to share meals around one table. The foldable dining table in Tianhe Guo module can expand to host six people. Before Shenzhou 15's arrival, the Shenzhou 14 crew had already set up the station status to fix six so that the system accommodates the small crowd and provides for them. The two crews have already spent some time catching up, and the Shenzhou 14 crew will show the new occupants around the three modular three ship space station, luxurious in Commander Chen Dong's words. And they have some serious handing over to do. Shenzhou 14 crew has been tending the now 100 ton space station down to its many experiments, including growing plants in space. And they will perhaps pass down some of the lessons they learned during their time in space, including how first timer Tai Sui Zhu successfully carried out spacewalks twice outside of the station, as the incoming Shenzhou 15 crew has four spacewalks lined up. And we do expect some celebration over the week, as well as heartfelt farewells when Shenzhou 14 crew wave the newcomers goodbye and head home in a few days' time. Zhang Yibin, CGTN.